a fatal error when I recorded the walk around slash review for the uh, Volkswagen LT. Um, I put it on time warp mode instead of video, so it's basically um, what was a 25 minute video condensed down to about four minutes um, at approximately 100 miles per hour. Um, and I, I missed out on a lot of key information, um, so I'm going to do a commentary over the video um, the best I can. Um, before I go there, I suppose I'll, I'll say that it, this is the 2.8 Volkswagen LT, um, and of course you can get a 2.5, but the 2.8 is a much better engine. Um, WAS, actually, um, they, they build their bodies on a number of chassis. Um, you'll find them on um, a Mercedes Sprinter as well, um, and that will be running either the 2.1 or the 3 litre V6. Um, which, in my opinion, are inferior engines to the 2.8 um, TDI 158 horsepower of the Volkswagen LT. Um, much less, much less to go wrong with them, and um, there's less sensors and things like that. I think they are a lot better. Um, that one in particular drives really well. Um, there's no noise coming from the diff or the prop. The gears engage incredibly well. Plenty of power. Brakes are good. Um, the previous owner, uh, which was um, a Welsh ambulance events company, um, they MOT'd it in uh, January, so it has got um, around 11 months MOT on it. Um, it was originally owned by the Yorkshire Ambulance Service, where I get most of my stock from. Um, they obviously um, forwarded it onto or gifted it to this, um, this division of the Welsh Ambulance Service, because um, it was doing something like holistic um relaxation i don't know some, something along those lines um but it, it's in really good condition um hopefully you can see from the video um and yeah hope it's hope it's all right to watch all right as i probably just said in the introduction um i messed this video up i recorded it in uh time lapse mode um so i'm gonna have to do a commentary very very quickly um basically the um there is a little bit of corrosion here and there um, but generally speaking, it's solid and it needs touching up in areas and bits and bobs, but it is solid. Um, the heaters work on all of the things, the, wind, the electric windows work, I'm not sure, really sure which, what I was saying in the video at this point. Um, da, 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 side step there, blah, 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 good quality for the doors. Um, that's where the night heater draws in there, that's the night heater there, that's the fuel, fuel pump I was pointing at. Came around here to discuss the corrosion again, but it is solid. Um, the chassis has been... Um, sealed uh, from factory so it's, it's solid again at the front on the rear it's a different story it is solid but it was just one underseeing for future proofing um there, there we go i'm trying out the heaters there trying out the electric windows talking about the reverse camera not engaging so it's probably a wiring fault or something um notice i think a point out there that there's a thousand watt inverter just showing that i mean if you can pause the video i suppose it might be a thing there i am using the lift <laughs> so that's how quick they should be in real life um what else we got here? Um, putting the lift back together, um, showing that the outside lights work. There's a bulb, there's a bulb gone on one of them. Um, the outside lights do work. The seam lights, bit of damage up there. I think I uh, mentioned that you could have it repaired pretty, um, pretty cheaply. Um, good quality covers. I think I said again there. Little um, heat space there. Little things where you can store things that need to be heated up. Um, all the lights work. Little blue seam lights were kind of strange. Nice cover space. Um, that's where the night heater lets out the stuff. Air conditioning working, air conditioning in the front as well. Um, I don't know what I'm pointing out there, God knows. And when tracking on the floor, blinds. Uh, what have we got? That's the uh, that's the inverter, so you can pat. There's only one place for the uh, for the 240 as well. So there's only one socket thing there. A thousand watts isn't particularly powerful anyway. Um, just showing the underneath there. You should probably pause it. Um, but like I said, it's solid. It's a nice, tidy example, really. Um, and then I do eventually go on a test drive as well. I think in a second, actually, I was like, oh, I better show you under the bonnet. I think I've forgotten something. Um, and then I failed to get under the bonnet because I lacked the skills to do so. So I had to go and get Charlie to help me out. Um, there we go, trying, to fa trying and failing. So I set the camera up down there so you can watch me fail. Da -da 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 -da. Nope, given up. Get Charlie. He's smoking inside the van. I promise you it doesn't smoke, smell of smoke anymore. The engine bay was looking pretty clean. You know, it was sound, it's the sound that you're missing here, but it does sound good, I promise you. Um, and then I go for a test drive and it drives absolutely brilliantly. The 2.8, 
is better than the 2.5 Volkswagen engine. It's also better than the 2.1 and the 3 litre V6 from Mercedes, which you'll find on the same WAS um, box conversion. Looks like I'm doing 300 miles per hour here, but I promise you I'm not. And I'll just spin around in the driveway and then shoot back. Um, but yeah, it drives, it drives really, really well. No noise from the diff, no noise from the prop. Gearbox is, uh, is perfect, engaging in all the gears well. Power's there throughout. Um, it's just had a test. Um, I'm just going to meet Charlie on the drive. And that's it.